Hi, thanks for being here today. A warm welcome to new visitors. I hope you'll come back again. Today, I have a, a scripture to share with you from the Gospel of Thomas. Now, you may, of course, have heard of the Gospel of Thomas. It is from the Nag Hammadi codexes that were discovered in Nag Hammadi, Egypt in 1947. It has gotten a lot of speculative uh, discussion since then. Is it a Gnostic gospel? Is it something else? Should it have been in our Bible? Why was it rejected? Is some of it before the gospels that we have? Well, I want to read a verse from there for you. It is the shortest verse in the Gospel of Thomas. And it is a verse number 42. Now, the Gospel of Thomas is just a list of 114 sayings. There is no narrative, no story. These are sayings of Jesus. In fact, the Gospel begins by saying, these are the hidden sayings that the living Jesus spoke and Judas Thomas, the twin, recorded and the first one says, whoever, whoever discovers the interpretation of these sayings will not taste death. And then the sayings are numbered 1 to 14, 1 to 114. These are um, allegedly sayings of Jesus to the Apostle Thomas. Now, saying number 42 is the one I want to share. Jesus said, be passers-by. Be passers-by. And I think this reflects a good deal of what's said in the accepted, the uh, New Testament as we know it today. That as you go through life, remember that you are actually a citizen of the kingdom of God. And although things in this life may be very distressing at times, you are just passing through. This is not the full extent of your existence. So try not to let things get you down so much because there certainly is a great light at the end of the tunnel. And this light is the light of a heavenly kingdom. A, and a plane of existence that is filled with joy and peace. We can actually, if we consider ourselves just passers-by in this life, begin to experience some of that joy and peace right now, knowing that this is not the end of everything. This isn't everything that exists and this is certainly not everything that will happen to us, gives us a different perspective. We can have some peace and joy. 